In this video, we will continue our investigation of work and force. We will ask the question, how much work occurs if the force doing the work is not constant? So here's the situation. And here is a key idea, or maybe I should say a key fact. Work is additive. So let's say I put some midpoint here, call it X sub I. Then the work to move from A to B is the work to move from A to X sub I plus the work to move from X sub I to B. That gives us this idea, which should be very familiar by now. To cut the interval, we are interested in into a small sub intervals and approximate the work on each sub interval. And then because work is additive, we can add the approximations together. And the idea is the same as that of a Riemann sum. Let's take one of these intervals and let's take a point in the interval, call it X sub I star. And let's use that point. to create a rectangle. Well, the top of this rectangle is a horizontal line. The curve is not a horizontal line, but you can see that the top of this rectangle looks kind of close to the curve. 
so we'll treat the force on this subinterval as if it were a constant. So we'll pretend that the top of this rectangle is actually the force function. Then the work done on this subinterval is the force times the distance. The force is this distance, the distance from the base to the top of the rectangle. That's F of X sub I. The distance is that distance. I didn't leave myself much room to work, but we'll call it delta x sub i. So the work on this interval is, well, it's not quite equal to, but it's approximately equal to this. When we add all of these approximations together, the work is approximately this sum. And this sum, of course, is a Riemann sum. So maybe the next step won't be much of a shock as these intervals get smaller, these approximations get better. So to go from this approximate equality to an exact equality, we'll let to the lengths of these intervals all go to zero. And this is precisely the limit that turns a Riemann sum into an integral. The work is the definite integral of the force function. In this video, we've related the work and the force using the tools of calculus this. It remains to do an example or two 
letting nail down this revision shit.